I was incarcerated when I was 19 years old. Um, I was a gang member. Um, I committed um, uh, a first degree murder against another rival gang member. Um, I was tried and convicted, uh, sentenced to life um, in prison. Um, throughout my imprisonment incarceration, I was, particularly early on, I was still involved in the gangs. Um, I had the gang mentality. Seeing a friend of mine um, killed due to gang violence, and at the time I was in prison for gang violence, and um, I had no one to turn to, and I turned, to, it turned inwardly. I turned it to myself, and I began to really um, think about some of the decisions and the behaviors that I was um, that I was um, part of, and that I was um, demonstrating at that time. Um, at that point, I committed myself to change and to take control of my life. And, um, I um, talked to some of the guys. Um, the, I was a blood member, and I um, I went to the, to the leaders of the blood, so to speak, um, uh, on the prison yard, the shot caller, and I told them that I was through, that I wanted to be out, that I didn't believe in it anymore. And the the loneliness. Um, now here I, will, I have been a gang member for 30, 33 years, and now I've chosen to walk the yard myself and do my own thing and take control of my life. And there were some difficulties, uh, um, just not having anyone that I could, I guess, hang out with on the yard. And this, um, that cognitive dissonance, um, something I learned, where it, um, it, it made me want to revert back to what was familiar to revert back to the gangs, to hang out, to um, associate myself with, you know, what I was familiar with. And I began to um, put myself in um, positive programming, um, some of the self-help courses, some of the college courses, um, and then some of the activities. I began to play handball. Handball was very big, big for me. Um, I was able to cultivate positive relationships by doing that. Um, I began to go to um, services in, um, in prison, and um, I was able to um, um, have positive relationship, fulfill my, um, that human need for the acceptance of others, and um, I found them relationships in other places. Going to prison, I lost my faith in God. I lost my faith in um, humanity and myself, and um, I became more just um, involved in the gang lifestyle. Um, as I began to really explore these areas of my life, these um, traumatic experiences um, from having friends, family members um, murdered and killed and um, the crimes that I committed myself, um, there was this gratitude that came. And it, it came from um, a higher source. Um, you know, I, I always remember people saying they had a personal relationship with God and I wanted that. And I began to pray. I began to pray every morning, every night. And it wasn't to any particular um, belief or, or religion. I just began to pray, pray to God, and I knew that I, I was blessed in so many ways. Um, and as this gratitude, it became one of my values, one of my values for values for um, responsible living, and um, that became my um, spiritual guidance. Um, just, just that that there's something greater for myself and for my life. I don't feel, out of all the people that I've lost in my life, for me to still be here today and still have um, my physical and my mental and my, my spirit intact, I feel, feel blessed. My goal is at this point um, I, 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 to, to enroll in college, to um, get more college credits. Um, I eventually want to um, study in the field of um, social studies, um, particular um, um, to be a counselor. Um, some of the things that I've learned um, about myself, you know, I had that fork in the road where I had the opportunity to go the right path and the wrong path, but I did not have no one there to help guide me down the right path, and I chose the wrong path. And so if I can be that for a young person, someone in the community, um, to guide them down the right path, um, that's what I would like to do. And I know going to college, um, it would, you know, my life experience has equipped me with a lot of the, 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 the tools and the skills to be able to talk to someone 
Um, but going to college would give me that extra boost that I would need to get to the next level. Some of my other goals is um, really connecting with my family, to bring my family together. My family um, is very fractured. Uh, my mother's mother died when she was six months, and that created a huge fact, um, fracture for my family. And then to have my mother um, pass away at 39, and um, so now we're just all over the place. And so a lot of my family see me as a, the catalyst to bring us back together. So bringing my family together, that's, that's real huge to me. Um, being a part of the community, um, one of my values is to serve others. And so if I'm able to be out in the community, no matter where I'm at, um, I would like to, to be able to do that as well. I just wanted to see what type of financial aid that I could get um, going forward in college um, for books, um, for um, other materials that I may need for college. Um, so being involved and then just seeing all the other um, um, aspects of um, the Excel Network. Uh, um, I was able to go to the retreat and it was, you know, it was a great thing. It was wonderful. It was very, um, you know, um, you know, healing and cathartic to be able to talk in the circle and um, to be be around people who have been through similar situations as myself. So um, I, I see a future with the Excel Network and um, all the other things that they provide. The, uh, the, the sense of community of belonging to something um, greater than myself.